For the past five years, I've been in the private sector providing behavioral solution for families. My concepts and solutions have brought me success, and now I want to share my gift with the masses. So take notes. Class is in session. Blood Concepts and Solutions. Solutions that meet the moment. What's up, everybody? It's Mr. BCS. Today's topic three reasons why you don't use electronics as a babysitter. I've read stories where people are literally having piss bottles in their beds, on their bedside or next to their desk because they are too engulfed in the game to get up and use the restroom. Let them hang out in the room with their video game door closed. They got their headset, they're quiet listening to uh, their music, you know, just doing what they doing what they do you believe that your child is safe that your child is out of harm's way but in most cases it's the exact opposite your child is in harm's way it's a lot of stuff going on on that internet a lot of stuff going on in those meetings in those chat rooms those groups that are playing those violent games I don't want to sound like um, I'm some old man but I know kids that are eight years old playing Fortnite, you know, racking up 99 skins or whatever the case may be. So here are three reasons why you should never use electronics as a babysitter. Number one, eating habits. According to the CDC, Childhood obesity is a serious problem in the United States, putting children and adolescents at risk for more poor health problems. The CDC also points out that in America, 25% of obese children are Hispanic, 24% are black. You're trying to complete a level so you'll eat quicker. Um, You know, you eat a lot more fried foods, more processed foods from some of these um, restaurants. Uh, fast food restaurants and we know already what the outcome is but yet we still do it because we're thinking about the taste and the convenience and we have to get out of that parents and so you have to start teaching your kids that fast food is not what the first thing they should have you as parents should be at home cooking uh, good home cooked real food meals for these kids you control the diet kids will drop weight just like that just because of their metabolism number two Uh, and it goes with a poor diet is lack of sleep you're eating bad and you're going to sleep at two three o'clock in the morning um, you're going to have some indigestion because you're eating these bad foods and you're not going to be able to sleep and again and it it attributes back to um video games you know lack of sleep um because you're playing online you're playing all night uh, you're going through an emotional roller coaster You have a bunch of anxiety, stress over this video game. And then by the time you do pass out and fall asleep, uh, which leads me into my last uh, reason why you don't use electronics to babysit your kids. uh, Number three would be lack of motivation. I had a parent come in and say that and say that she fully has faith in her child. And, you know, she tells her child to turn this video game off at 9 p.m. But in the meeting, it comes out that the child continues to play the game until 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And this is why her grade slipped. This is why she's not getting anything done. It's real in the field, man. Like a lot of these kids have mastered some of these games. And now they're making games where you can't even call a timeout. You can't even press pause. Video games will take over your brain just like a drug. That's that's exactly what it does. But a lot of people are not talking about it. Let me know what you think. Share, subscribe and comment below for feedback on other topics you want me to make a video on.